Hey folks, Jan Bernackford here with All Points Design, that's allpointsdesign.ca, and today we're talking about the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. Specifically, we're taking a look at the design site macro to micro assignment, but you could use this for any assignment when you want to create a base map to scale from Google Earth Pro. Now, normally and usually, Google Earth Pro has pretty good scaling. Now, remember that Google Earth Pro's data is based upon a 2000 shuttle mission flown by NASA called the SRTM, the Shuttle Radar Topographic, Topographic Mission. And in that, they used LIDAR. They shot lasers down at the Earth, and the bounce back gave them a sense of the general topography of the Earth. Now, that's now 20 years old, and the pixel size was 30 meters, which means if anything changed within those 30 meters, the elevation, so the up and down, could be out upwards of 15 to 30 meters, and the X and Y, the up and down, left and right, could be out potentially up to five meters. So while it's a useful item to create a scale map off of Google Earth Pro, uh, always go to your site and make sure you have a sense of, of what the actual distance of something you can measure on your site is, and that can usually be the easiest way to know the scale of your site. But if you are going to use Google Earth, what I do is I zoom right down into it. And in this situation, I'm going to keep both. Um, I'm going to keep my outline. I don't need to keep my marker. It's just kind of visual clutter. And I might come in just a bit more because I kind of want the most amount to play with. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click either on the print icon, file, print, or command P, which is what I normally do. And what will happen is we'll immediately get a crop in on both sides and we'll get a couple of images, uh, some additions that I actually don't want. But it's actually cropping out a bit of my site. So I'm going to cancel, which is the X up here. I'm going to move this over a bit and then I'm going to try again. That looks pretty good. Now, in terms of these extras, I actually don't want any legend on this. I'd rather build the legend on the, the either the Google Slides or on another program. So I'm gonna go to Map Options. I'm gonna click off Title and Description, and that turns off this little description. And then I'm gonna turn off my legend, because I actually don't want it. Then I'm gonna take a look at my scale, and I want my scale. That's, that's the major region, reason why I want this, and I wanna keep my compass. Now scaling, if you increase this, you'll see that the scale actually gets bigger because it's taking up more size and it's more accurate. It's not more accurate, it's just it's uh, taking in more material that's being measured. So I'm going to leave it at 10 and I like this. This is, this is a nice relative position to everything else. And then there's two other options. You can go grayscale, which is amazing if you ever want to put anything new on a site. You can desaturate the colors, but I'm going to keep everything nice and vibrant. And then I'm going to save. Now I can save the file as, let's call it uh, Bernac Oasis GEP Google Earth Pro Aerial Scale. Great. So that's saved. Hopefully that's worked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our desktop. At least that's where it said it was going to save. And I just got to move a few things out of the way. So it had a GE print scale which means it probably can't open. Which means instead what we want is to do one of two things, either save as PDF or my good old screen grab tool, which is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take a screen grab of it, make sure I get all the important bits, go back over to my map, oh, and bring this in. Great, so now, wait a second. Yeah, there we go, cool. So this is actually more useful to me than this big map here. So I might move this off to the side, keep it for later. So it means I may have to zoom out a bit. Zoom out, move this over, bring this guy in. Awesome. So because of the sizing, it's not gonna be as useful. So I'm gonna scale this down, scale this down. Okay, great. So this now means I'm probably going to have a lot more space, which means that I can increase the size of these potentially a bit. And it doesn't always work perfectly, but there we go. So now if I zoom back in, I've got two options. I've got an option that has scale, as we see here, and I have, a, I have an option that doesn't have scale. This moved off the slide there. And I have an option that doesn't have scale. Sometimes Google Slides, not that. There we go. Cool. So now I've got a scale 
which we can copy and we can use in our design work. But the nice thing is, is that this scale is always going to be 10 meters, no matter how big or small I make this. And that's how you make a scaled map from Google Earth Pro.